Let's try a new cozy game, Bear and Breakfast. Hello friends. So I've been wanting to branch out into doing a few different types of games, some cozy games, spotlights on indie games, stuff like that. Uh, don't worry, we're still gonna have a lot of Minecraft and Stardew, that ain't changing anytime soon. Although there might be some Coral Island, but that's, that's another day. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to do some cute spotlights on up and coming games. So I did a poll on the community tab of some games I was really interested in. You guys voted and you chose Baron Breakfast. So let's play it. Okay, so I've actually been playing the game <laughs> for like, I don't know, a few hours already. I wanted to just kind of like get in and understand how the game worked before uh, showing you guys around. So I'm this bear. Um, unfortunately, there wasn't a like character creator, which I was pretty sad about. Um, I would have loved to like try out being like 10 different types of bears or whatever. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm Hank and I did get these pants recently, which I'm pretty excited about. I think they're really cute. Um, so I, this is my first B and B. As you can see, it's bustling. <laughs> this is one of the funniest things. Is every time, even though I run the B and B, every time somebody walk, a like customer walks past me, they freak out. Look, <laughs> it cracks me up every time. They're just like, ah. uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, so here's my cozy B and B. I just put this one in this room in over here. Um with a giant jukebox in it. Not weird at all, but it gave me a really good stat, so. <laughs> and all these tourists are staying at my B&B. Okay, so I just opened my second B&B, which is actually a motel, which I'm really enjoying because I get like, I feel like I'm like running the motel from Schitt's Creek. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, I'm, you know living my my rose fantasy okay um so my second motel is out or like my second bnb &B is out in the desert but it's this this is a junk heap this is not my motel where is it? i'm lost okay wait oh i should have taken the bus I've lost my, my entire property. I'm lost. I'm off to a great start, you guys. Okay, I gotta look. Oh, is it over here? Is this... Yes! Yeah, wait. No, that's not... There it is! This is my motel. This is my new one. Um, as you can see, it's, it's kind of sad right now. So, this game is like... Um, it's really quest based and you follow them on the right here and that kind of like guides you through the game. It's not like something like, you know, Minecraft or Stardew that's really like, just like get out and figure it out. You know, it's really kind of, you know, repetitive grinding collection, which isn't normally my kind of game, but I'm finding it pretty fun and relaxing. I think it would be really nice to play it like uh, on a switch in bed. Uh, I might do that later tonight, actually. So this is my check-in desk, and I'm gonna go and see if I can get any guests to stay at my uh, shabby little motel. Okay, so here's my guests. Um, I don't have any decorations, as you can see. So this little score is like people want your rooms to have cute things in them, a lamp, a table, stuff like that. And uh, as you can see, none of, here, hold on. Uh, as you can see, currently my rooms are barren and sad and it vaguely looks like a prison. So uh, let's go get some decorations so that I can get some guests. So I get the decorations <laughs> from uh, the raccoon shop in the, in the dumpster. Yes. I, I pay him in um, <laughs> garbage that I collect that the tourists leave. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> so that's 
Yep, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so let's get these rugs that are a really good deal. I think um, I'm actually gonna make like, so the B&B &B is really chaotic. All of the rooms have like a totally different setup, but I think it'd be really fun and very on brand for motels to have the motel have all the rooms are like the same. So I'm gonna buy this rug because it's like a really good deal. <laughs> you get two uh, decoration for it, which is really nice. And then, oh, this is a good one too. I like this little rustic, oh wait, hold on. This one is even more, a better deal. You get three decoration for that. So we're gonna buy three of those. And then this sensible floor lamp. Well, we can't say no to a sensible floor lamp, can we? And do I have enough? Yeah, we're gonna get three large snake plants to put on the floor. And I think that should be enough dec decor to make these uh, tourists happy. Oh, somebody has an exclamation point. What do you, do you have a quest? <gasps> it's a cutscene. I agree. This is a very handsome possum. This is adorable. Oh, I have a quest to give this possum I just met a compliment. Oh, I'm gonna do it. He didn't like it. <laughs> okay. That was a strange quest. Um, anyway, back to the motel. Let's install oh i gotta go down here uh let's install our rugs and other decor so go to my inventory and let's get these rugs yeah there we go and then we're gonna put this little nightstand right there in every room. Where do I buy one of these? It's really cute. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> shoot. I thought this was a tiny lamp that I was going to put on the nightstand. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> I guess. Um, can I put it up here? It's kind of weird. Oh, maybe I can move this over there we go okay um that was strange i wasn't expecting that but it it's a vibe <laughs> oh there we go that looks pretty cute okay if i move there yes it's now now i need something for this little table though because i thought this was going to go on the little table okay And then we're gonna put the lamp there. Then the snake plant over there. Okay, the motel's coming together, you guys. Okay, so my little motel is looking pretty cute. Like, I feel like this is very motel vibes. Although it needs like one of those paintings on the wall with like, it's like weird abstract like blobs or something to really give it the full motel look. Um, okay, so let's see if we can book any guests now. Oh, I forgot to check. Okay, let's see this person. Oh, they all have hygiene scores. Okay, I think I need to build a bathroom before I can get anybody here. Cause this one, the other one didn't have, they're all apparently fine at the other BNB with no bathroom, which that's okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're just, just gonna move on. So, but this one had a hygiene score option and I could build a hygiene room. So that is a bathroom. So we're going to build a bathroom because uh, I guess all these customers want a bathroom. So, all right, which is reasonable. I, I think that's really reasonable of them. Let's, <laughs> let's put it over here by the front desk, I guess. 
Okay. And then let's put a door on the bathroom. Oh, I moved a window. Oh no. Okay. Okay, we're gonna move this door over here and then move the front desk there. Okay, and then how, how do I make a sink? I don't have any of these things. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna create the room even though it's not functional yet. And then let's try and craft I don't have recipes for these. Um, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna finish the other quests then. Uh, I'm not booking anybody in that, that hotel. But while we're here, I just realized I should book people for tomorrow at my other B&B so that uh, I keep that money rolling in. Oh, I have to book it in the area, okay. I'm lost again. Oh wait, oh, is this where I'm gonna buy the, no. Is he gonna sell me the toilet recipe? No. Who, who, do, who do I buy the toilet recipe from? Okay, hold on. I gotta find, look at the map and find the bus stop. Oh, there it is. Okay. Because I need to go back and get my other hotel booked for the next, for tomorrow because it's really late. There doesn't seem to be, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't see a timer for the for the time of day anywhere. Like I just see it's night, obviously. Um, and I can sleep with this button, but I don't see a time up here, which is kind of frustrating. Cause then it just is morning at some point. Okay. Oh, look at all the little tourists tucked into their beds. Why is that so cute? Oh, there's more trash they left around. Actually, it's it's money though, so I can't complain. I can buy decor with it. Man, I wish I could buy decor with trash in real life. That would be, that'd be sweet. So I am going to, uh, I got a bad review. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I can't read it. It's, I'm not gonna read that. I don't like to read bad news. So here I have my requests for, oh, there's no guest requests. That's weird. <laughs> I really am still learning this game. Okay. Oh no, I clicked on reviews. I don't wanna see the bad reviews. <laughs> see, I got two bad reviews. <laughs> well, I got, okay. I got two imperfect reviews, which isn't the same as a bad review, but when you're a perfectionist, it is. So it feels like a bad review. Anyway, um, so I apparently don't have any guests who want to stay here. Maybe it's because of the bad reviews. <laughs> or maybe it's because people have been like, yo, this motel is run by a bear. It's terrifying. I don't know. But I am going back to here. We did a quick Google and it seems like I can't get the bathroom until I book somebody in the hotel without a bathroom. So I guess I got to do that, which is kind of sad for them. Um, I guess they'll figure it out. There is a convenience store nearby, maybe. I... Okay, um, let's go back to the motel and book a guest. <laughs> I got to move this front desk. Every time I try to walk into it I just it, it's very I keep walking out the door instead okay so go to the front desk okay and then we're gonna see guest request there's no guest request anymore okay so maybe it's the time of day I think you can I think you can't have like, you don't get guests wanting to book in certain hours. I encountered that before. So that's what happened with the other motel. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to wander around and uh, collect some supplies while I wait for it to be 
late enough to book some guests for tomorrow. Ooh. Yeah, I, uh, so I scavenge for supplies to build with is kind of how this seems to work. I do enjoy the scavenging, actually. I find it quite relaxing. I saw somebody in their house who had an exclamation point over their head, I think. And I want to see if I can find them. Okay, yes, see? There's that exclamation point. Let's see what it's about. Let's see what this turkey? Turkey wants. I'm living for this turkey's, like, vest. Yes, amazing. Yes, I do. I'm bisexual. Of course, I flirt with the bazaar. Oh. Okay, so the turkey gave me a quest to restore the diner, which I am definitely going to do. That sounds super fun. Here it is. It's very sad right now. Um, let's see what is needed. Okay, let's, it wants me to get all the garbage, which is great. I can use that to buy lamps. Again, I reiterate, why is real life not like this? Um, that would be amazing. Thank you. You know, I just moved, so I'm acutely aware at the moment of the high cost of home decor. I would very much like to buy it with my recycling. Okay, it says I need... I don't think I have those things. Okay, I think I have copper plates. I do. I, I don't... Oh, I do have porcelain chunks. Glass panels. I don't have any glass panels. Hmm. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get some soon. Let's see if I can book any guests yet. Yay, I can. Okay. I'm going to book this these three guests. But I feel really weird because they're all saying that they very emphatically want me to have a bathroom. And I don't have one. I'm gonna get bad reviews again. Oh no. I just realized I can zoom. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Why? Okay, that's so cute though. Look at this little bear. This bear is adorable. Wait, it has a hole in its in its pants for its tail. <laughs> okay, uh, it's really cute. Okay, pause for tea. What kind of tea do you guys like? Tell me in the comments. Okay, I'm taking the bus back to my old motel, which I still care about and love and I'm going to book some guests and also clean up the garbage because these tourists are not environmentalists is what I'm saying. They also leave like just trash in their rooms as well. Oh wait. I like that I can go in their rooms when they're in them even at night and just go in and you can turn the lamps on and off. <laughs> and so there'll just be somebody sleeping in this room and I'll just be a giant bear and walk in and just like turn on the lamp. I don't know, I think that's really funny. Okay, looks like any nobody left in, oh. <laughs> See, look, that person is just, a hi. Hello, don't mind me. I just like to watch you sleep. Edward Cullen. Okay, but a bear. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> I gotta book some guests. Okay, so I'm not gonna fully book it because all of these people have this really high comfort score and I don't know really yet how to make the rooms have a higher comfort score. I have to figure that out. And um, 
I don't want more bad reviews. <laughs> So I got to make sure I'm just like going to not book those rooms because these people will definitely leave me a bad review because I only have a comfort score of five and they want 23. And uh, I don't know how to give that to them. So Ooh, I'm zoomed in. OK. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so much trash to clean up. Trash, trash, trash. Oh, is this? No. Okay. This is, there is an, uh, an outhouse, but it's currently not operational, which does mean these. Okay. Maybe they're going, there is a little like shop over here. Maybe that has a bathroom. That's what my guests are using. Okay. I think I'm going to sleep the night. It's morning. The guests are happy and alarmed because the motel is run by a bear. Yay, I scared all the new guests. <laughs> okay, they want me to build a level two, two level two bedrooms. Maybe that has something to do with the comfort score. Okay, I'm gonna try and figure that out. I don't really tell you how to do that. No, okay. Oh, these can upgrade the comfort score, but still not enough to 23. Hmm. So we Googled again <laughs> and apparently I need to complete the bathroom quest before I can upgrade to a level two bedroom, which actually I really should be doing anyway, because my guests are just there and there's just an empty room where it's supposed to be a bathroom. Um, and that's terrible. Um, I don't want to be a bad host. Host X? What is, is it like? Ho you know, you have host or hostess. What's the NB version? Is it host X? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Ah, I guess I was a little ahead of the curve on this. <laughs> okay. Yay, I can now craft these things. Yay. Oh, look, they're, look, they're upset. I don't have a bathroom. I, they're like Sims. They're crying. Okay, I, I'm making it. I'm making the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can craft a toilet, a shower, and a sink. Great. So one thing I find sort of frustrating is that you can't um, turn things, which means you kind of can't really make it very cute because everything has to be like, <laughs> they're just gonna have to use this toilet facing the wall, I guess. Um, sorry, everyone. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's better, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, I wish you could turn items. Maybe you can, can you? And I don't know. I don't know. I've looked around and I did not see any way to turn things. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm wrong, but I I hope so, because I would like to be able to turn items. Because uh, everything is just pointing one direction, which is sort of weird, especially on this sink. But OK. <laughs> All right. Yay. There's a bathroom and you left your garbage behind. Okay. You know, I know I don't need to probably for, but I think I want to put some decor in the bathroom because I just would feel better about it. Especially like, since it, it is so weird looking. <laughs> okay, we'll put a small table light. Should I put a rug in the bathroom? No, I shouldn't. Okay. Oh, a mirror. That'll be nice for the bathroom. And this little nightstand, and there we go. Some scented sticks. That's a very useful thing to put in a bathroom. Okay. Hey, okay. The little bathroom. What, can I not put anything on this table? Or I just can't put this on it? Okay, cool. All right. Okay, it's got a bit of a cute kind of spa vibe now. There we go. I like it. Um, 
Yeah, cute. The bathroom exists and it's cute. Yay. Okay, oh, there's the tutorial about bathrooms. Oh my, somebody is currently in the bathroom. That's, and we, that's kind of awkward. Bathroom accomplished. Woo. I can make a bar now. Okay. Um, it's odd. <laughs> oh, special rooms. Oh, that's cute. So we can like make a little arcade room and a bar. I mean, to be fair, a lot of hotels do have bars, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, let me talk to Barbara. I love, I love this. She just like lives in the woods and is like, I've been here forever and I think she's famous. Some days you just wake up to smell the coffee. I feel you, Barbara. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm still waiting on finding out how I can make a room level two. So I think I'm just going to go out to the woods and do my like rounds collecting timber. Um, this is actually kind of one of my favorite things to do in this game. Um, I really like the way the woods are set up. It's like really, or like the art style, especially of this zone is really pretty. Just scavenge some, some, uh, logs. <laughs> I love that there's just like little piles of perfectly cut plywood just sitting out in the woods. Okay, sure. <laughs> Video game logic. Um, but I really love these, uh, tree stumps with the mushrooms. It's just really pretty. I feel like this game sort of is like, has like a, Twin Peaks meets Adventure Time aesthetic, which is um, definitely, that's a unique combination. <laughs> but it's a nice vibe. I really like wandering around in the woods. I think it's probably my favorite part of the game. Mm -hmm. I do wish it rained though. I love, I love my rains in video games. Okay. I have collected all of my wood and I am going back to the main, I don't know, I think this this is the main area because it's like where I built my first B&B. Um, and I'm going to sleep through the night. Now, hopefully this will show me how to build a level two. Hmm, okay. I couldn't figure out, still can't figure out how to get a uh, level two bedroom. Um, but I did get this blueprint to make a distillery in the motel. And I think I'm going to do that. And maybe that'll help unlock it. A lot of things just seem to be related to other quests. So if you just, if you can't figure it out, I just go and do other quests that I can figure out. And then they sort of end up revealing themselves. So it works out. So let's build a distillery. Maybe like that. Okay. And put a door on it. And then, oh. I keep forgetting that I need to craft the items for a distillery for things before I make the room. Okay. Let's craft a wooden bar. And we will make two bar stools, even though I think I only need one. And a beer tap. Eh, let's make two beer taps. Let's give them choice. Customers like options. Oh, there's slots for three bar stools. I'm gonna have to get another one so that it'll be better. And there's our beers. Cute. And there's the distillery. Okay. I'm going to add another a third bar stool because there's a slot for it. So I definitely want that. There we go. And I feel like we should maybe get like a plant or something for this. I think that's a good idea. All right, let's see what the raccoon has for me today. 
wait, it definitely needs this retro jukebox. Um, but it's really expensive and I already have one and my other motel. Okay, let's take the bus. Let's go get the jukebox so we can finish this little bar. <laughs> I scared another tourist. Okay. Um, yeah. How do I add that back to my... Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're just going to put this back in my inventory. And you know what? I'll just leave the snake plant. They won't notice, right? There's just, there used to be a jukebox in their room and then they just went out for the day and they came back and there was just a big plant instead. What? This seems normal to me. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna buy another snake plant for the bar and now we're going back to the motel. Okay. Yes. Okay, wait, where do I put this? Can I? Right. And then the snake plant right there, right, right there. Oh, and let's add a window too. So it's not just people drinking in a sad windowless room, <laughs> which is sort of a weird vibe, I think. You know what? Let's put, let's give them two windows. Let them, yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, and let me put up the walls you can put the walls up or down and you can kind of like show them partially like that or you can show them like with the roof on and everything so that's kind of fun but i usually keep them down because that's the best way to see everything that's going on all right the little bar is so cute can i sit on these no i guess not they're for humans i'm a bear There's my little bar. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for today. All right, friends, thanks for playing Bear and Breakfast with me. Um, let me know in the comments if you've played the game, what you think about it. And also if you like watching me play cozy games and what games you want me to play. Thanks for watching, stay cozy.